friends we shall deliberate on Revelation chapter 22 the last book of the Bible Revelation chapter 22 and we shall start at verse 1 it says and he showed me a pure river of water of life clear as crystal proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb in the midst of the street of it and on either side of the river was there the tree of life which bare twelve manner of fruits and he led her fruit every month every month and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations and there shall be no more curse but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it and his servants shall serve him no more curse no more crime no more disease like high blood, high blood pressure no more colitis no more uh, jaundice no more cardiac heart disease no more joint pains no more arthritis or osteoarthritis no more mental illness no more depression no more schizophrenia no more PTSD no more um, attention deficit disorder right no more um, panic disorder none of those things no more desire to hurt or to do evil no more homicidal ideation no more desire for drugs nobody shall be opiate dependent right there shall be no more diabetes there shall be no more arthritis right no more curse no more tiring no more pain no more old age no more Alzheimer's no more cancer and it says it says and there shall be no more curse but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, serve him. Glory to God. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophet sent his angel to show unto his servants, the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and beheld them, heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel, which shewed me these things. Then said he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the saying of this book, worship God. This is the admonition, friend. Worship God, not the devil. Don't worship your Lexus or your Benz. Don't worship your wife or your husband or your daughter. They cannot come before God. God must be first and last in your life. That means you must be living your life according to the law and will of God. In conformity with the law and will of God. All ten commandments. Right? And you know them. The first one, thou shalt have not a God before me. Thou shalt not make any image of anything on the earth, on the, under the earth, in the sea, under the sea. Thou shalt not bow down to them, nor worship them. The third one, thou shalt not take the name of thy Lord God in vain. The fourth one, which many Christians take lightly, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Which day is the Sabbath day? Many people want to ignore it and say it's not important. But if you love God, you want to find out what is His will for your life. And you want to be ready to comply and obey God's will. Because He said many people worship Him in vain. In Mark chapter 7 and verse 7. In vain do they worship me, He says. And Jesus Himself, in discourse with the woman of Samaria, in John chapter 4 and verse 24, uh, uh, somewhere there He says, God is a spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. So this is what he says. Worship God. And he said unto me, See you not the saying of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is faithful, and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Friend, I, I, the only thing I would say is, is when God called me, I would like to be found just. I would like to be found holy. I would not like to be to be proclaimed filthy. 
and the only way you can make sure of that is to be righteous now to to choose this day who you will serve and who or how you will live your life because if you go after the things of the world you cannot be in accordance with God's law and will and if death comes you will you will remain filthy or unjust and you're only awaiting the punishment from God eternal damnation now is the accepted time today is the day of salvation he says and behold I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. Here we go again, friends. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without, you are like a dog, and sorcerer, and whoremongerers, and murderers and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bright say, Come, and let him that is a thirst come, and let him that hear it say, Come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely, which is the word of God. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Revelation chapter 16 now. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. He which testified these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Even so, even so, come Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. And amen. God bless you.